Hello, Sagittarius friends. Oh my gosh, I was just about to unwind and then I was looking at the playlist and I was like, why aren't these thumbnails matching up? And I was like, oh my gosh, I did the freaking Scorpio reading like a day early. I was supposed to do it tomorrow and I accidentally skipped over you. So we're gonna go back and just get your reading, you know, get your reading in there. And I'm so sorry that I goofed up. I don't know where my head's at, okay? <laughs> also, um, Everything else you need to know about the reading, it's listed down below in the description box. That includes the first link to the astrological weather. There'll be a link to the list of decks we use for the channel and also a link to the music playing in the background. As, as far as the reading goes, we're gonna go through, we're gonna pick up on the main messages. Any court cards that we uh, that hit the table, we're gonna do a mini dealing with that sign reading for you. And if we have time and energy at the end, we're gonna remix the entire reading line for line, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get into this reading my friends <laughs> all right uh what's the overall energy especially for the next seven days for our sagittarius friends what's uh overall energy especially for the next seven days for our sagittarius friends please all right we do have the tower card energy so maybe there is something that catches you by surprise or something that catches you off guard there could be some, a shake up or there could be something drastically changing very quickly maybe something you didn't see coming okay or something maybe you overlooked something okay like me <laughs> all right let's go ahead and take a look here tell me about the uh, messages what are the let me push this back what are the messages attached to this tower card energy for our Sagittarius friends, especially for the next seven days, possibly beyond. All right, we do have the page of swords energy could be dealing with any air sign energy gemini libra aquarius could be a uh, what we have here is failure to communicate so there could be some really disastrous miscommunication or something that's very damaging in terms of or a missed message which leads to a whole bunch of confusion okay so this is a really good time to revisit your texts scroll through your message history check your content because maybe someone went through your phone and blocked someone is what I'm getting. Maybe someone's up to something weird and I just feel like they're, someone is like, they've been holding back something or holding back their feelings, holding back a lot, but they're about to like, it's all gonna come out, okay? Could be messy, but we have the hermit card energy. So could be involving a could be involving a Virgo. Maybe there's a miscommunication from a Virgo. Maybe someone thinks they got stood up, but ultimately here, it looks like the message was lost. Also, I feel like it's on your end. So I don't know if you might be having trouble with your service or if there's someone who's actually playing on your phone, messing with your phone, but it feels like someone got blocked that shouldn't have. You could have just accidentally blocked someone. I don't know how that happens, but it happens, I'm sure. Also, it kind of looks like you might have gotten a number from like, maybe you have something like a very aggressive spam, like spam uh, filtering on your phone. So maybe like whoever this is, maybe they call with an unknown number or they text with an unknown number. So it like routes it, it does, doesn't let them even leave a message. So that might be something to look out for. If you're expecting a call from a specific number, make sure that number is attached to like a contact and that's like a, a priority contact or it's allowed or something like that, okay? We also have the five of cups energy. Yeah, I feel like someone is very disappointed because someone, they feel like they've been stood up or someone Someone has abandoned them or someone just didn't have the didn't have the time or just didn't bother to show up but I think it's because there is this missed message or there's a miscommunication or there's something about the scheduling that ends up being very confusing all right here we have the two of cups energy yeah I feel like someone feels like they were stood up for a date they've been forgotten or someone overlooked them you know that maybe someone just like didn't even bother to like, was a no show, no call, no show is what I'm getting here. But it was actually something got, something got sabotaged or I don't know, I feel like on your end, maybe someone, maybe you're gonna see in your message history that someone responded or replied to a message or you see like a thread is deleted or someone's number is blocked that shouldn't be blocked all right yeah we have the magician card energy so someone is playing on your phone someone is uh 
or someone's messing with your phone or it, it could be, Merc you know, it is Mercury retrograde. So maybe there's just something here where messages are being returned to you or there's something wrong with your service and you don't know it. Or maybe there's something weird where it's like your voicemail, your number is being crossed with someone else's. So try calling your own number and listen, does your voicemail pick up or is it like saying someone else's name, okay? There's just something really funky happening with electronics, but it causes a falling out or it causes is a you know a feeling of you know it causes real disappointment here with both the um with the five of cups and this feeling of strife with the tower okay all right tell me more tell me more about this uh tell me more about this page of air i, I feel like this is this could be a person that that you miss the message from them or they miss the message from you but it could also just represent the communication itself right now let me take a look here tell me more about this we do have, yeah, this is the king of fire energy. So there could be a missed connection, miscommunication with a Leo, possibly a Cancer Leo Cusper. It looks like maybe someone was supposed to tell you something, or maybe there's an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that is the reason that your this person's messages are being blocked. So if your ex is an air sign, maybe your ex is playing on your phone, or maybe one of your friends that doesn't like this new person, whatever it is, someone might be have blocked this person on your phone without you knowing all right that's why they didn't show up for the date uh let's go ahead and take a look here tell me about the hermit card energy yeah you know what i wouldn't bullshit you because you know sometimes i'm just gonna say hey this person wasn't that interested in you but in this case this looks like someone is messing here someone is messing around here someone you know there's there's someone who is doing something uh that they shouldn't be i think it's a it's it's an air sign i think all right gemini libra aquarius or it could be a virgo one way or another they don't like this leo or they don't want you with this leo or talking to this leo okay all right tell me about the hermit card energy yeah we have the devil energy yeah. so you know whatever it is this is interference i feel like this could either be i feel like this is your karmic or this is your karmic relationship or dynamic with your ex where your ex is very petty or vengeful and it looks like they are keeping you or blocking you or trying to figure out a way to block you from entertaining someone else or you know whatever this is i feel like you could be maybe you're dealing with the devil energy this is saturnian energy but also could be capricorn energy can be aquarius energy linked through saturn but here with the devil card energy i feel like this is on your side someone is up to no good someone is meddling but it could also be this other person if you know for a fact this leo has maybe um a karmic situation that they're dealing with or a karmic contract all right but i feel like it's on your ends I feel like this is someone you don't suspect though. This person is very clever and they're very sneaky is what I'm getting, okay? All right, tell me about this five of cups energy. Tell me about the five of cups for Sagittarius, please. We have the knight of cups energy. So could be dealing with a Pisces, possibly uh, an Aquarius Pisces cusper. Maybe that is, the, maybe the air sign is an Aquarius Pisces and they are, um, and they are interfering with your new romance even if it's not with a leo maybe the it's an air sign interfering with your new romance because uh leo rules the fifth house which is about romance with a pisces okay take that as it resonates but someone's definitely putting up illusions playing games that sort of thing but i don't feel like it's the other person that was supposed to meet you or the other person that you're interested in okay i feel like this is someone who is um you're trying to maybe someone from your past okay all right tell me more about the two of cups energy here we have the three of swords energy but someone is really hurt by this is really upset because they feel like someone didn't show up maybe this maybe this leo actually thought that you stood them up okay this person even though we're getting um even though the king of wands is 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 a leo with a minor in cancer i do feel like with the hermit card here virgo energy that could override it because this is a major arcana so this person could also be a virgo leo cusper okay or a leo virgo cusper all right let's go ahead and take a look here tell me about uh tell me about the magician card energy tell me about the magician please we have the queen of 
we have the queen of wands energy so this is aries with a minor in pisces but yeah this is about look at all this nonsense between you and a counterpart i think you're being represented as the queen of wands here or the king of wands here take your have whatever your preference is no matter how you identify or present in terms of sex or gender but ultimately here there's a bunch of junk possibly a pisces standing between the two of you possibly a, a pisces a aquarius pisces cusper that's causing all this heartache heartbreak misunderstanding misinformation trying to break you up with this other person or trying to break up your relationship is what i'm getting here okay i don't know why this person feels so threatened i don't know if this is someone who maybe they feel like they they didn't get a fair shot with you or maybe they just are that petty but definitely get the energy i feel like it's like they, this person can't let go i feel like with the with the devil that's hyper fixation on something or someone probably on you then again i mean sagittarius whether you know it or not you're not your sign is notorious for just having people flip their shit and not be able to forget you okay that's just <laughs> sometimes you might um I don't know i feel like you're like who me but you know i feel like a part of you knows it i feel like sagittarius energy is like the unintentional heartbreaker i get sweet sweetheart killer <laughs> i'll i'll um but that's by say hi i'll put that i think i'll make that the title and i'll put that song down <laughs> down in the <laughs> in the comments for you all right uh let's go ahead and move forward here though uh what else can we uh, did we get any court cards yeah we did we got quite a few court cards. So let's go ahead and get into the mini dealing with the sign readings. So if you are dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, let's go ahead and see what are the messages between you and the air sign. We do have, we have the five of pentacles. We have the nine of pentacles energy. It looks like this air sign, they, they want to get back together, but it's for financial reasons, all right? It's like they remember the lifestyle that you have together. They enjoy the lifestyle that you have together, but it's not about love. It's about practicality. It's about money. It's about, you know, it's about um, luxury or indulgence is what I'm getting when we bring in the double card kitty corner here. All right, let's go ahead and see. Uh, so that's something to just, you know, keep your eyes open. That's confirmation for someone. I feel like you already knew that in your in your bones, though. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. If you are, usually I'm not going to pull unless I see the court card, but for here, I feel like there is Virgo energy involved. So if you are dealing with a Virgo, what are the messages between you and the Virgo? Here we have the Seven of Swords energy and the Knight of Swords energy. Knight of Swords, that's you, Sagittarius. You could also be a Scorpio Sagittarius Cusper. But ultimately here, I feel like this person, they are making dirty dealings, dirty moves towards you, dirty dealings, okay? I feel like they're trying to cross you. They're trying to cross your path. They're trying to uh, block your path. So just be really careful. They might seem like they're aloof. They might seem like they don't give a shit, but at in the end this is the person who's hating on you the most that's what i get okay for whatever their reasons are all right let's go ahead and take a look here if you're dealing with a knight of cups energy if you're dealing with a, a pisces possibly an aquarius pisces cusper what are the energies between you and this pisces we have the sun card energy. We also have the hierophant energy coming out okay so here it looks like this uh this Pisces, they they want you to choose this relationship, okay? They want you to see the light. They want you to take them back. They want you to see the light. They want you to see the practicality of being together. They want you to, you know, the sex is good between the two of you. I feel like there's definitely... Um, because at the bottom of this card, there's definitely, there's still flame, okay? So, and this is the fire of water. So they're reminding you, you've had some good fucking times <laughs> together, especially physically. Your body is, you know, they know how to worship at the temple of your body is what I'm getting. But I feel like you're not impressed, to be honest. I feel like that's almost like, you almost feel like this person is trying to like trade 
sex for money you know like they want to be taken care of but you're not looking to buy flesh i mean that's just not your style you don't have to buy sex okay all right let's go ahead and take a look here tell me about the queen of wands energy what is the energy between um you and and if you're dealing with an aries possibly a pisces aries cusper here we have the eight of pentacles energy so it looks like this person they want to they want to do something in terms of they want to make you work they want to be a business partner they want to get into business with you here we also have yeah we have the seven of pentacles energy but i feel like they are i feel like here um with the seven of pentacles i feel like you're turning them down i feel like you're telling them that you're not interested in being business partners let's pull one more for the potential outcome or takeaway for that uh, or we'll just check the bottom. We have the Seven of Wands energy. Yeah, maybe you have good cause to watch out for this person. Maybe they don't have the best business reputation or something like that. But I think ultimately here, it's like with this Aries, it's probably best to not to make it not to sign not to sign any contracts or make any deals with this person. Okay, could end up disastrous with the Tower card energy. All right, let's go ahead and get into the remix. So for line number one, we have the Page of Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Hermit card, the Five of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Magician card energy, which is Mercury energy and related to Gemini and Virgo, all right? So ultimately here, it looks like there is someone who is definitely keeping their distance. They are really butthurt about what happened between the two of you. It looks like here they might have tried to swindle you or to rob you or to cheat you or they might have been a cheater. They resent the fact that you discovered this. They resent the fact that you are um, that you're moving forward. They resent the fact that they feel like someone told on them. So I feel like here they might have either this air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius feels like a Virgo ratted them out or a Virgo feels like they were ratted out by an air sign. All right there is bad blood between the two of them this might have been two people that um maybe they already had issues before you even stepped into the picture but there is definitely one of these people is a liar and one of these people is a liar but i feel like um everyone loses in the situation kind of i feel like if you can avoid if you don't have to deal with this air sign that's feuding with this virgo I think that it's better for you to just like let them sort out their own shit. I think otherwise it's going to be really a pain in the ass and could be emotionally painful for you. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and look at uh, line number two. We have the King of Wands, the Devil card, the Page or the the Knight of Cups. We have the Three of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. It looks like here there is a there is a Leo. It looks like for whatever reason this Leo they may be in debt. They might be in debt to a Pisces. They might be in debt, and it's causing a Pisces a lot of grief. They also could be in debt because of a Pisces. Pisces. So you might find out that this Leo that you're associated with, I don't feel like you're involved with them, but I feel like it's someone you know. I feel like they're cheating on their spouse. They're cheating on their spouse. They're keeping a Pisces. But here it's like um, the secret comes out and I feel like the, the spouse is really upset because of how long it's been going on. I think this affair has been going on for three years. Okay, so someone might really need your support in this situation if you're dealing if you're the queen of wands and you're dealing with a spouse uh, especially a leo possibly a cancer leo cusper that's cheating on you uh, especially with a pisces possibly a pisces aries cusper it's been going on for three years and i feel like that's going to be the mo most difficult thing to kind of wrap your head around okay for some of you you might be the one who's cheating on someone and it, it you might have been cheating on them for three years okay whether it's uh take it as it resonates okay let's go ahead and move on to line number three line number three we have the five of coins we have the nine of coins we have the seven of swords we have sagittarius the knight of wands sagittarius with the minor and scorpio we have the sun and the hierophant okay so it looks like here you might be 
I feel like you're anonymously donating money to a charity or to a good cause. I feel like this has spiritual connotations. I feel like also if you're wondering what you can do to help show praise or to show gratitude for, you know, to the divine, to God, to spirit source, or just to, you know, even the cosmos or whatever, I feel like it is asking you to give back and especially to give back, donate financially to things that warm your heart, to things that bring you joy to places of worship and to support places of worship especially maybe places of worship or people that are spiritual people that are under attack okay that's kind of what the message says to me also what do we have um yeah, I feel like you might you might be in a situation where there could have been like a church, a mosque, a, a temple that was destroyed or that was, uh, I want to say, I don't want to say desecrated, but it feels like, you know, maybe someone put graffiti or did something. Maybe it was like a hateful act or maybe it was something where, you know, it was just, it's, even if it's not hateful, it's just destructive. I feel like you might be donating money, especially donating donating money anonymously to um, heal the damage or to help clean up the property. For some of you, I'm going to be full transparency. Someone that you care about, possibly a Leo, possibly a Taurus, someone that you might be related to, maybe you know that they are the ones that messed up this church or this temple, this mosque, or this place, this place of worship so maybe that's why you're donating anonymously to kind of help make up for what this person has done is what i'm getting all right one way or another it feels like you are being asked to pay for this mistake or to give back all right line number four the last line we actually have the seven of coins and the seven of wands so 77 could be a sign message or synchronicity for someone also here there could be uh there could be some challenges there could be some delays i feel like something that you that you are hoping for you're you're holding on to hope for it looks like they're at this point, it looks like it's probably not going to happen, and I'm sorry to say that, but I would rather have you prepared now and maybe face some disappointment than to set yourself up for a fall. But I feel like ultimately here, there is something that maybe you expected more or you expect it to happen faster or you think it's going to be easier than it actually ends up being but there is this sense of sort of disappointment also the sense of you know at the very least it does show you you you're going to have to fight for it but seven is the chariot energy so even if you have to fight for it in the end ultimately if it's for you it's going to it's going to happen but here it kind of feels like maybe that's why there's a delay though because whatever this ambition is maybe it's not it's not really for you okay all right that's what I've got thank you so much friends please join me again gratitude to the divine to you and all of creation